my name is Akasha and in today's video we are going to be using iOS 14 to make widgets on our phones. So I already did a couple on my own phone, I'm getting right into it, and I want to show you guys how to make some if you want to. So I wrote down the steps in case you guys are visual people. I'll also put the steps in the description in case I'm going too fast or anything. So for starters you need to have iOS 14 to be able to do this, so go ahead and download that if you aren't at I mean, if you haven't already, um, go ahead and download that. And then you're also going to need two apps. One of them is the Shortcut app from Apple and the other one is Widgetsmith. So I watched a couple of videos on how to do this and it seems like everyone is generally using Widgetsmith. I know there's a couple other apps you could use, but it seems like this is the, the go-to app for everyone. So I went ahead and did it with Widgetsmith. So, Download download Widget Smith and then I'll show you guys like my screen and so far mine looks like this right now. I haven't completely finished so and you'll see my screen right here. I haven't completely finished because I want to show you guys how to do this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So before we can start, if you have a certain theme in mind, for me I wanted to do like this like beige nude color. Um, that you guys can see the apps are. I'm not even going to show you guys. It'll be right here. So what I did was I went on Canva and I'll insert a video here as I'm telling you guys. I use Canva for my thumbnails for YouTube sometimes. So I went on Canva and I clicked like create a design or whatever and then I changed the background color to a nude color that I liked. And then you just type in on Google like Instagram PNG logo or like transparent or something and it'll give you like a transparent logo so that way there's nothing in the background just the logo and go ahead and download that and then insert it into the image so it'll basically turn it into the little uh, photo that I used here. So yeah that's how you download those and it'll be right there just in case you need to know how to do that. It's really simple. I hope you guys understand that part. If you don't, leave a comment and I'll explain that process a little bit more to you guys. If you don't know what to look up, you can also look up like Instagram highlight covers on Google or something and you'll see like a bunch of the little, kind of like the widget covers. If you want to use those, you could, um, but if you want to make yours, you can do what I did. So yeah. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go on Widgetsmith. I'm going to show you guys how I got some of these things. So when you open Widgetsmith, you just go to the bottom left, it says widgets, and you want to go ahead and add a widget. You can do a small, medium, or large size. So for this next one, I think I'm going to do a small one, and I'll do like the, the moon thing. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And so to add it to your actual screen, you just want to hold down on the screen and then there will be like a plus sign in the top right corner and there is, um, it says search widgets and then just type in Widgetsmith and hit the small or whichever one you decided to use and it'll add it to your screen. So that one is pretty straightforward and if you need to edit it, just go into the widget and edit what it looks like. And then I'll show you guys my medium one, um, the medium widget that I made that has the like month and the date and everything. So you just go to medium widget and then you can choose which one you like. For me, I chose the one that says Monday 21st and then it's the day and the date. So the font I have is New York and then I use the black color font with the background color as cream which I like and then you can like change the opacity or you can do like other colors so you know just do what you guys like whatever you guys think looks good and that's just how you add it to your screen so that part was super simple I hope you guys understood that and then we can go ahead and move on to actually making the um, shortcut using the shortcuts app for the little images here so go ahead and open your shortcuts app and you want to click on the top right corner with the little plus sign and click add action and go to scripting. Then you want to click open app. It's the, the first like option that pops up. Hit choose and then choose the app that you're using. Uh, for me, I'll just put in like Google Calendar because I, I can change that one. Hit the both read outs button. And from there, you can name your shortcut and I'm going to name it Google Calendar. And then add to home screen and you can go ahead and name it again. I'm just going to type in calendar 
and then you want to add the image so click choose photo and I have like a bunch here that I've made so um, I'm just choosing the one that I have and then hit choose yeah it'll pop up with the icon and then just click add and you're done and then that'll be wherever you placed it and then you can move it around and do all of that one more thing guys if you don't know how to remove the widget just hold down your screen and then there will be like a little minus symbol and go ahead and just hit delete super simple you guys got this you guys know how to do it you'll be good and then that's how you delete it and once again if you want to add it just hold down add the plus sign symbol widgets and then go through and basically just choose whichever one and add the widget and if you have two so like um basically i have two like of the medium sized ones just click on it if it goes to the wrong one and click on widget and click whichever one it was um if you remember the number or if you name them then that'll be easier for you super simple you guys got this believe in y'all now i don't know if i'm gonna keep doing this or actually using these because when you actually click on it it takes you to the shortcut screen first and you'll see that as well i'll show you guys by like clicking on random stuff it takes you to the shortcut screen first so i don't know like yeah like i'll click on something like say snapchat and it'll take me first to shortcuts and then it'll take me to snapchat so i don't know how i feel about that i do think everything looks really cute but also i like having everything like where i remember it being and so i remember where everything on my phone is but now that i've moved stuff around i don't really remember where everything is it does look nicer though so one more thing that i thought was pretty cool was on the last page of the update um, when you're on iOS 14 they like Apple has already created certain little widgets for you and I think that's pretty cool they have like a creativity one a like recently added apps social apps utilities finances for me like banking Venmo stuff like that they have these little boxes made for you one of them has the entertainment and also if you guys want my background or want to see some of the backgrounds that I found kind of interesting, I'll put them right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll show you guys these are my screens at the end. And I don't know if I'm going to keep them like I told you guys, but here they are. And I hope I didn't miss anything. If I did, just ask a question and I will answer your question. I just want to keep this video nice, concise, short so that you guys knew exactly what to do, how to do it, and you know not me like running the video on for a long time so i'll see you guys in the next one and let me know what you guys want to see down below and if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up hit subscribe i'm not going to force you to though if you don't want to don't and yeah i'll see you guys bye